scriptures and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. You know, to you brothers out on the highways and the byways, pushing this word out in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now so more than ever. See you I send this in Shir Shalawan. You know, Shalawan is with Aki Ahawaki and your brothers and sisters who are listening and learning. You know, I'ma just, you know, uh, flow through the spirit, man. You know, out here with another street teaching. You know what I'm saying? All praises on and glory is due to you. I will buy some I will shot for me being able to be out here. You know, I missed a couple of, um, I missed a couple, like, you know, I had some issues, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I didn't get to upload a lesson and then I missed camp one week, so I'm trying to make up for it, you know? But uh, yeah, man, so I'm just getting into the scriptures, man. Right now, man, the elect, the men that got, the true men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah going through it, man, you know? And that's the spirit that, uh, Pretty much, you know, all the brothers are in. You know what I'm saying? You know, we starting to realize, man, that hey, through the, through this through the experience of the hell, we catch that, you know, the scriptures they start to, you know what I'm saying, come to uh, come to come to life more. You know, because you you know you first you get the understanding, but then the Lord gives you the experience. You know, you might understand what a scripture means, but it really comes to life. You know, when you uh, actually, you know catch that certain that you know that hell that the, our forefathers caught man you know the hell that's spoken about uh in the scripture you know hey man i just went out yesterday and i you know i was teaching and um my damn you know what i'm saying i'm on the way home my damn tripod boat broke man but <laughs> you know luckily man hey you know it's a blessing i still have one uh a cheaper tripod you know it's a little less sturdy but it'll still get the job done you know, I found that at home, and uh, you know, hey, man, it's a blessing, man. But you know, I, you just you just think like, damn, man, I'm always going through something. Now, something's always breaking. Uh, I'm always coming up short. You know, my back is always against the wall. But that's what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah wants, man. You know, because the, the Lord wants hardened men. You know, He's rebuilding the house of David, and when you go into uh, King David's mighty men and his men in general. Hey man, they were they were uh, uh, very austere men. You know, Yahweh Shah was an austere man. So when you run across a man in this truth, you know we're not gonna be happy go lucky, man. You know what I'm saying? You know the scriptures talk about how a righteous man does scare smile, but a little. You know, so I'm a I'm gonna try and um, you know roll through the spirit. This is Haggai one and six though. You have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but you have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it into a bag with holes. So yeah, man, we catching hell. We as the Israelites are catching hell in general. You know what I'm saying? But you do have those jakes that are doing better, you know, than some jakes. But the majority of us as a nation of people, we going through hell right now, man. We catching hell at the job, especially the elect, you know? You know, the hopeful elect, Salakia. You know, we catching hell at the job, we catching hell at home. You know what I'm saying? You catch hell, you know, just, just in general, man, in all aspects. But that's because the Lord is, 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 you know, building us up through adversity. You know what I'm saying? You know, he's gonna make us more precious than fine gold by trying us, man. You know, so, hey, and, and Haggai 1 and 6 explains you know, basically, even even them, them niggas that's in the world, man, and they don't know what's going on, they still catching hell, too. They still coming short up on their bills, but, you know, hey, they, they, they walking on in darkness, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, it, it, it hurts less for them because they don't know what's going on, you know? 
those of us who know what's going on, it's a certain level of affliction that gets added to our everyday lives, man. You know, like the scriptures say, um, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. And I got another scripture I want to pull up too. Uh, what's that scripture say? It says, um, he that increases. Because the deeper you get into this truth, man, you're going to realize the more sorrow you're going to have, man. You know? You know, um, the scriptures talk about how Yahweh Shah, who the, the one, the, the one, the world ignorantly knows and calls Jesus Christ. You know, he was a man that was acquainted, acquainted with grief, you know? And Yahweh Shah spoke about how, you know, the servant is not greater than the master. So we're going to go through some of those same things that Yahweh Shah went through, man, and the men of the Lord before us. And that's what it is, man. When you, you know what's going on, you know, when the Lord wakes you up, you know what I'm saying? It's a certain level of affliction that gets added to your walk, man. Because when you were in the world, sure, you call hell, but, you know, it, it wasn't as bad, man. It wasn't as, um, how can I say it? Uh, 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 like the elder, elder Aram, I believe. I believe it's the elder's name, man. Uh, his channel is Mysteries of the Kingdom. He's the Zaquan down there in uh, the Birmingham, Alabama camp. You know, the elder, you, you know, he said one time in the lesson, man, that, uh, you know, it's a certain level of affliction that comes with you increasing knowledge. And the scriptures say that, you know. And also, um, you know, he said that the, those who are in the world who are asleep, you know, hey, they're under the knife with anesthesia. Brothers who are in this truth, we under the knife with no anesthesia, man, you know. Because I got a wicked ass saying in the world, you know, um, ignorance is bliss. And that's pretty much the state of mind that everybody in the society is in, man. They don't want to know what's going on because they want to stay asleep, you know. they, You know what I'm saying? They don't want to know what's going on. They just want to continue on in darkness, you know. And, and it's a reason for that, man. Because, you know, like, I, like, I, like I've been saying, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, it's a certain level of increased pain that comes with knowing, that comes with being aware of what's going on, you know? So this is Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. So the more you grow in this truth, man, the more you, you know what I'm saying, you get acclimated to being a man of the Lord, you're going to become more and more acquainted with grief. You know, the elder brother, uh, Shaman, from, uh, from uh, the, uh, the New York camp, I believe, you know, he did a lesson, man, you know, on how uh, the prophets hated their lives, man, you know? And that's pretty much how we are, in, in, and you're supposed to hate your life because what do you have to celebrate, you know what I'm saying? What do you have to be joyous about? This isn't our kingdom, man. We're not living on this side, man. You know? Hey, but when Yahweh comes back and sets up the kingdom of heaven, you know, he establishes the kingdom of heaven by first taking Esau, the so-called white man, out of the power seat and uh, subject, subjugating the other nations under the Israelite man, under the 144,000, and ultimately, all the Israelites, because even two thirds are gonna have slaves in the kingdom. You know, they're not gonna be on the level as the, the elect and the one third, but they still gonna get to enjoy the benefits of the kingdom because hey, they're not gonna come back wicked. You know, you niggas not gonna come back in the kingdom, man, talking about you Moors and you know you Egyptians and uh, you Muslims and shit, man. You gonna come back born in the kingdom as a newborn baby with the law, statutes, and commandments written on your inward parts, man. You just gonna keep the laws, man. But right now, hey, two thirds of our people, the Lord has them scheduled for death, man. You know? And so lucky argument, if I don't get to get every scripture that I wanna get, you know, I'm out here, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on a solo mission and I'm trying to, you know, you know how it is when you at camp, you know what I'm saying? And it's a little cold out here, so I'm trying to, trying to keep it rolling as best as I can, but, uh, so yeah, man, two thirds of our people ain't gonna make it on this side, man. But the Lord is dealing with a remnant, you know. And that, and through that remnant, the ones who die on this side, they're gonna come back as our seed in the kingdom of heaven, man. You know. So this is Zechariah 13 and 8. 
And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. That third part is the remnant. You know what I'm saying? You know? And when you go into a remnant, it goes into those who are going to remain because the Lord is going to do a great slaughter on his people, man. You know? Elder Paul was watching an older lesson from the apostles and they were going into how tens of millions of Israelites are going to die here, man. And that's, hey, that's, that's, that's the truth, man. Verse 9. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. And will try them as gold is tried, and they they shall call upon my they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. And that's what the, the hopeful elect are doing, man. We returning back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. We taking part in the suffering, you know, soldiering up, being a man of the Lord. And hey, man, we call on the, on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, man. And the, and the heavenly Father hears our prayer, you know. Yeah, man. So the heavenly Father, he his his ears are not heavy, you know, towards the prayer prayers of the elect. But you know, you two thirds out there, man, who you don't want to try and get this word while you can and listen and try and change your life and for you, how about you shall try to repent, you know, come back to your heritage as you being the Israelites, the so called you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, so called West Indians and Haitians. You are the Israelites, man. You know, so-called Trinidadians, all of you islanders you over there, you know, you know, which uh, uh, that's more so a Benjamin. And like I said, the so-called Haitians are the tribe of Levi, you know, and so on and so forth. Uh, as of right now, Jake, you know, I lack a sign, but what I'm gonna do is, uh, I was gonna try and come out here multiple times this week and do multiple street teachings. So, you know, the next time I probably had a sign, man, you know, I'm gonna try and give me a makeshift sign going until I can afford to, you know, get a uh, a more fitted sign, you know what I'm saying? You know, with the stand and all of that. But yeah, man, they, uh, what was I going into? Yeah, man, so the Heavenly Father hears the prayers of the elect, man. You know, but Hey, all you niggas out there, man, who don't want to get right, the Lord ain't hearing your prayers now, you know? A lot of you niggas think that you calling on the names of God and Jesus Christ and that they hearing you. Nah, man, you know, those of you who don't want to get acclimated and come back to the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, the Lord is going to preserve you. You're going to get your little daily bread. You're going to be all right for now. But the Lord's going to preserve you niggas for fucking death, man, you know? He not preserving you because you righteous. And the Lord's not hearing y'all prayers, man. You know what I'm saying? Those of you who, hey, you get told about the law, statutes, and commandments. You get told about what's right and wrong and you don't want to hear it. Hey, your prayer is an abomination to the most high, man. The Lord don't want to hear nothing you niggas got to say, man. I'm going to get a scripture for that, too. Because y'all hard-headed, and when you hear the word, you turn y'all turn y'all head away from the word, man. Y'all don't want to hear the word, you know. That's one thing about Jake, man. Niggas hate fucking rebuke, man. You Negroes, uh, Spigro, so-called Haitians, so-called Jamaicans. You niggas hate rebuke, man. When in all actuality, rebuke is the purest form of love, man. It is, you know. Because if somebody not telling you, say, say you going on a crash course. You finna get ready to run into a goddamn prompt concrete building. And somebody telling you, slow down, man. You, it's a building up there. You wanna slow down. You niggas, hey, well, I ain't gotta listen to that, man. I've been driving like this my whole life, man. I'm gonna be all right. And then you hit the building and you die. That's you niggas, man. Y'all don't wanna listen. Two thirds of our people are fucking hard headed, man. And since you don't wanna listen, the Lord's not gonna hear you when you call upon him, man. That scripture I'm, I'm looking for, uh, huh? That's the spirits, man. The spirits rolling, you know. I got unlimited service or whatever on my phone. But that that shit is is, is it don't do no good, man. You can 
love upload like lessons with street teachings. You know, it take forever. So, you know, the Lord blessed me with uh some Wi-Fi at work. And hey man, my video uploaded like <laughs> in like five minutes, you know. So hey, I'm gonna try to use that for now. You know, until you know, until things get a little better for me. But anyway, this is Proverbs 28 and 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. So if you turn away your ear from hearing the laws of the Most High, even your prayer shall be an abomination, man. And the law is not done away with, man. Stop letting these churches mislead you. Stop letting these fucking pimp pastors mislead you, man. The law was never done away with. And the Heavenly Father's Son never came here to do away with the law. As a matter of fact, the Heavenly Father's Son appearing on earth, him coming down here, all of that was forewritten and spoken about and foreshadowed in the Old Testament. So that's why the Lord said he came to fulfill the law and the prophets, not to do away with them. So, you know, hey amen. You pastors, you Christian churches out there that teach that the law is done away with, you know, you know, hey man, you're in violation of the scriptures, man. You know, you leading people to damnation. You're not helping no damn body. And a lot of you so-called white people wouldn't be in these churches if you knew what the Heavenly Father really looked like. He looks like a so-called black man with that with the afro, man, and, and dark color skin. And a lot of you so-called white people, you gonna have it bad. Hey, you gonna hey, you gonna realize, man, what you who you've been who you've been mistreating, man. You know, you've been mistreating the Heavenly Father's holy people, man. You know, and holy meaning separate. You know, so for, for all you, you you jakes out there that want to integrate into this society, you want to be like Esau, you are, you're better than the so-called white man. You were created to be separate from them, not to be joined together with them, man. You know? Yeah, man, you know, you got these uh, Jeebus-loving Edomites out here and the stupid-ass jakes that follow them. A lot of you niggas wouldn't, hey, not you niggas, a lot of you goddamn Edomites, man, you wouldn't be even in these churches, man, if you knew what the Heavenly Father really looked like, man. You would be a fucking atheist. No? Everything, hey, Jake is all fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, all, all the way. You know, instead of, uh, and that's what's, that, that's our people's problem. You know, our people are used to instant gratification. You want everything quick, fast, and in a hurry. And you end up sinning and going off, trying to get somewhere, you know, and you get nowhere fast, man. You know, I was, you know, it's Jake at work, man. He was talking to me, you know, and I, I ended up, he was like, you know, we was talking about how, uh, how wicked Eve is. And somehow I told him, I'm like, yeah, I'm on child support, man. I got little financial problems in my damn self. You know, I'm behind on the shit. So they bopping me over the head a little bit more, taking a little bit more out of my check, you know. And uh, this nigga goes, well, you know what you need to do with your extra money? You need to go and get you a bag, man. You need to pick something. I looked at him, I'm like, man, I don't deal with none of that, man. I'd rather just go through what I go through and, until the Lord lift me back up. But see, that's what's wrong with Jake, man. You know, Jake don't want to suffer. Jake want to get it all and live well on this side. The Lord didn't put you here to live well on this side. Remember what your people went through. And remember what we still go through. This is our captivity, man. This is not our place of rest. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. The Lord didn't put us here to be living on this side, man. And those of you who are getting to enjoy yourselves on this side, you getting these riches, you all good, you ain't got no problem, you getting your consolation prize on this side, man. And that consolation prize ain't shit compared to the kingdom. So you lost out. You know, the ones of us who are suffering right now, we going to win at the end of the day, man. But you niggas who are you having your way with this shit right now, you lose, you lose in the end. You know? Like, like these niggas always love to say, man, like the elder, bar, uh, elder brother Yarmaya from the GMS Chicago camp said, you niggas are in that laugh now, cry later spirit. And you're not going to only cry, you're going to fucking howl for vexation of spirit, man. 
Wait till Esau start coming down harder and harder on you niggas. You niggas gon' ah, you gon' howl for vexation of spirit, man. You know? Cause see, right now you wanna be in the house of mourning because everybody that's in the house of, of laughter and joy right now, in the times to come, they gonna be mourning. Like the scriptures say, they're going to be howling for vexation of spirit. Do you not see the state that this fucking country is in right now? The dollar is collapsing. You know, Esau's on a whole uh, uh, down, the downhill slope. He's declining. The other nations see that, you know. And like I was watching Elder Apostle Hart the other day, man. Russia and the United States, they're not going to be buddy-buddy for too much longer because prophecy says that Russia is going to turn against the United States. Something's going to go wrong to where Russia and the United States are going to bump heads and it's going to end a result in a nuclear war. You know? But anyway, this is Matthew 5 and 17. The law is not done away with, man. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. You know? And Yahweh Shah filled a lot of different prophecies, man when he came on the scene, man. You know, all you goddamn women, y'all enjoying y'all selves right now, coloring your fingernails, coloring your hair, shaking your ass, sleeping with multiple men, y'all gotta pay for that at the end of the day. Y'all got a tab that's building up, especially you women who done fucked off brothers. Hey man, you think you gonna be able to double back? You think brothers is gonna double back on you when you shit it on us? You know? So when we, when the Lord raises us up when everybody else is catching hell and we doing good and we eating while everybody else starving, these women are gonna wanna flock to us, man. Because they gonna see the spiritual power that we have. They gonna see that the Lord is with us and they gonna wanna get down, man. These women don't want to get down with us right now. But see, when hell can, when all hell break loose, the opinion polls are going to change. Hey, Isaiah 4 and 1 is going to come into full play, man. Because Esau going to, hey, the, the Biden in office, man. They, what you think they going to do? They going to cut funding from, from uh, food stamps. They going to cut housing. They going to stop giving out money. They gonna stop uh, 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 letting you, uh, uh, you goddamn women, keep your house. So you, you wicked ass uh, Israelite men too, man. It go for all of you, you know. But I'm focusing on the women right now, cause the women are fucking careless, man. They don't give a damn. But when all hell break loose, it's gonna be. Can I get with? You? Hey, if the spirit get on the brother to see that you ain't right, man, you gonna get the boot in that day, man. You know, cause it's a, a lot of you women are going to perish. The vast majority of you are going to perish, man. Y'all running around here with your ass showing, tramp stamp showing and shit. Don't no righteous man want to deal with you wicked ass, slut bucket ass women, man. Hey, brother might deal with you for some box and tell you kick rocks, man. Literally, man. You know, because we're not dealing with women. We're not dealing with women that want to serve you. Because when you go into the word woman, it literally means serving. So if you call yourself a woman, you supposed to be somewhere with a right with a man serving him. You know? These women ain't serving no man, man. They serving their goddamn vagina. They opening in their mouth. They opening their mouth as a thirsty traveler. You know? These women ain't shit, man. They might have your rod in their mouth on Monday and have two, three other goddamn men up in that ran up in them by Friday, man. You know? The Lord is gonna judge you women for that, man. You Israelite women. You know the, the the Israelite woman, man. She's hey, we dealing with we dealing with a uh, 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 whores, man. Like the scriptures say. As a matter of fact, let me get that in her and uh, believe it's Hosea. Huh, this is how, this is what the Lord taught us. Cause right now, man. You deal with these women for some pussy, man. You get what you get and, 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 and hasten and keep hastening the day. Hastening to the coming of the day of uh, uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. Now, if brothers who got women, who got wives, I'm not telling you to, you know, 
carry yourself like that. But some of, for the most part, man, brothers is dealing with, uh, hey, you dealing with whores, man. That's why the, the apostles were saying, you know, a while back, hey, they deal, they deal with prostitutes because at this time, this present time, you know, very few of us have wives. And then the scriptures say those that have wives be as though they had none. Cause they, they, they dealing with wisdom more than they dealing with their woman. They love Yahweh and Yahweh Shah more than they love their woman, man. And the scriptures tell you that you're supposed to love your family and, and your woman and your people less than you love uh, 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 Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, you're supposed to love the Lord more than you love anything, man. You know? Because that's what the Lord tested. What you think Isaac got tested with when, uh, no, nah, Salakia, uh, Abraham? What you think the Lord was testing him to see if he loved uh, uh, his son more than he loved Yahweh, man? When brothers, brothers, when you lose your woman, your woman leave you, she take the kids. The Lord testing you to see if you're going to follow up after them or if you're going to follow up after him, man. You know, we all done been through it. Sometimes you get a little stressed out about the, about the shit. But what you do, man, hey, if you, you got a, a roof over your head, some warm water, some clothes, some food, fuck it, you know? If you get upset, man, take you a shower, man, get you something to eat and get back in the spirit, man. That's all we can do right now, man, you know? We ain't got no power over the, over our women, over how, you know, over, over how we gonna, you know? We ain't got no power, man, you know, period, man. You know? And right now, man, the woman, she surpassed a man. You know? And when you go into that word surpass, it means to basically, you know, she has every different avenue set up by our enemy, by Esau, the so called white man, to bypass her man. Because what makes a man important when a woman has no choice but to lean on him? Esau and gave these women are every day, like three or four different avenues more than that to where, to where they don't need a man because why? Because Esau has systematically uh, 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 destroyed the, uh, the so-called black family, man. Latino women are, are following up under these jakes so y'all got the same shit going on that we got going on, man. Now, like I say, them, some of them northern king, they are, they, they are a little bit better than these fucking uh, 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 southern kingdom women. These goddamn Southern Kingdom women ain't shit, man. You know? And that's why I, I, I feel what brothers are saying. You know, sometimes, like I say, you might deal with them for some boxing. You tell them, keep it pushing. But man, fuck the so-called black woman right now, man. You know? She ain't nothing but a goddamn wildebeest because that's how she carry her fucking self, man. They ain't our women right now. You know, get, get with one of them women of the other nation. Look how they treat their own men. You were one of them women of the other nations, man. You were Israelite, man. Watch how they can't, you know, watch how they let you, you know, how they treat you, man. They gonna treat you like a king. You get with a so-called black woman, it's gonna be, nigga, nigga, I ain't gotta do this and that, you know? Hey, man, they are insolent, man. And, 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 and completely disrespectful and out of order, man. And they gonna pay for that. Judgment is gonna rain down on them for that. But like, like the scriptures say, man, we dealing with whores right now, man. And a lot of the time, you know, I don't trust no woman, period, you know. But the so-called black woman is definitely going to be last on my list of people I trust. You can't trust them, man. They're backdoor. You he saw the so-called white man in a fucking New York minute. This is Hosea 1 and 2. The beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea. And the Lord said to Hosea, go take unto thee a wife of whoredom and children of whoredom for the land hath committed great whoredom departing from the Lord so the Lord told Hosea to go take him a wife of whoredoms that's what we got right now man I can guarantee you that if you got kids with a woman or you dealing with a woman you are not the first man that has went up in her man so you dealing with a whore according to the scriptures you know but yeah man hey our women are, 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 are off, and they, they going off on us because we went off on the Lord. That's a punishment, man. You know, the way our women act and conduct themselves and carry themselves and how they treat us, you know. 
That's a punishment. And, and Hosea's name in Hebrew is Hawashai. waiting for this place to go down because it's already going down the mark of the beast which is the rfid chip is already here we just waiting on it to be made mandatory right now even in indiana it's not mandatory you know but you can if you can't see the signs that it will be eventually then you not hey the lord ain't dealing with you man because they're pushing bitcoin and cryptocurrency on people in miami florida i believe already so we heading into those times, man, where everything is become is gonna become digital. You know what I'm saying? The dollar, the pay, the uh, these greenbacks are gonna be fucking useless. They're gonna be done away with. You know? Hey, the mark of the beast is 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 the RFID chip, man. This is Revelation 13 and 16, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name you know you already have people that have that chip implanted in them look at those people in sweden you know and in other surrounding uh, countries and areas you have people here in the united states that have it but like i said it just hasn't been made mandatory but the fact that it's here that should hey, you should be on point right then and there. You should know, man. It ain't that. It ain't. It ain't gonna be much longer, man. You no, know? because at first the mask it was kind of loosely enforced by different state governments. Now it's become a federal law that you have to wear a mask. Last year it wasn't that important, you know. So how long before the, hey, where does the buck stop? How long before the chip becomes mandatory? Hey, man, you people better wake the fuck up, man. You know? We, in the, we living in them times, very, very pressing times at that. Let's see, this is second there's just the uh the 15th chapter and verse, I'll start at verse one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So when you see men out here prophesying, we speaking the, the words of the Heavenly Father, man. We're not out here doing this of our own accord. The the Holy Spirit is moving us to, to speak, man. You know? This is verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagine imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And that's talking about the scoffers and scorners, man. Hey, you can scoff and scorn all you want to. These prophecies are still going to come to pass. Esau's still gonna be taken out of power and you Jakes is still gonna get a foot up your ass, man, unless you repent. You coming up and scoffing, that ain't gonna do nothing, man. The Lord's still gonna bring judgment, you know? More death is still to come. More pestilence is still gonna come. More draconian laws will still be enforced, man. Just cause you scoffing, you know, you, you scoffing at a brother because, hey, Hey, the, the, uh, the poor man's wisdom is despised, man. You know? People don't want to hear you unless you got a three-piece suit on. But see, a lot of y'all going to miss out just because we don't look a certain way. You judging based off of the outward appearance. Hey, man, we have the real riches, man. Because the men who uh, 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 are under the standard that the elders and apostles of GMS set and they keep trying their best to keep up with that standard, we have the crown, man. We have that real, we have that true treasure, man. You know, these other camps ain't, ain't preparing you for what's to come, which is martial law, concentration camps, the implementation of the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, more pestilence, more death, more famine, 
all of these things are to come, man. These grocery stores are running short on food. And you know every time some small disaster comes, people go in panic shop. So right now would be the time for you to be, hey, like Elder Ward said, you know, stock up on whatever you can according to your uh, uh, to what you can, can can afford to do. Stock up on rice, man. Stock up on water. You know what I'm saying? Stock up on non-perishable items. You know, canned meat, whatever, the, whatever, you know, whatever, the, you know. You know what I'm saying? Whatever floats your boat, man. But you know, preparing, not doomsday prepping, preparing is not against the scriptures. The scriptures tell you that a prudent man foreseeeth the evil and hideth himself. So the prudent, which are the prophets, we foresee things, man. It ain't nothing wrong with being prepared, you know? Hey, the scriptures tell you wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. So not only should you prepare, you know, hey, if you can save a couple of bucks or whatever, man, invest in silver and gold, whatever, do what you can, you know what I'm saying? But it's not, you got to know that it ain't going to save you at the end of the day. Your faith lies in your Yahweh Bashem Yahweh but there's nothing wrong with preparing for what's to come. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man, you know? So this is second there, just 15 and uh, verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hopeful, hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain, uh, complain continually. And who are the souls of the just, man? That's the, the, the righteous men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah who are sick of this shit, man. You know? Hey, we get vexed by being around you wicked ass niggas. We get vexed by being around you heathen and having to serve you. You know, we get vexed by you sodomites, man. You know, we sick of this shit, man. And the Lord is going to deliver his elect, man, speedily. Why do you think scientists, and the Lord gave them that information, they got that inc inclination from the Lord. Days are becoming shorter. Why? Because the Heavenly Father is speeding up the times for the elect's sake, man. Because the way Esau, the so-called white man moving, if the Heavenly Father don't speed up the times, it ain't gonna be nobody left for the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shah to save, man. You got Bill Gates talking about uh, fucking 100% synthetic meat. Ain't no telling what already, we already eating bullshit, so they wanna feed you more bullshit, man. They letting you know, man, they wanna depopulate this place, man. And a lot of you people are gonna get caught up in that net, man. I got another scripture I want to bring up because we sick of this shit. The men of the Lord, we are not fucking comfortable here, man. And the Heavenly Father, hey, out of love, make sure that we not comfortable here. You know? The Heavenly Father not putting us through nothing because he don't love us. He putting us through hell because he does love us, man. So what's that scripture, man? I'm looking for it. And these bodies ain't shit, you know. <laughs> you forget stuff, man. You get fucking weak and tired. You get sick. We need deliverance from these bodies, man. You know? Con, that's what I was looking for. The scriptures talk about how Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. You know, the things you see, the things you hear, it all of it vexes you. You know what I'm saying? You fucking gotta hear about Dwayne Wade uh 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 sodomizing his damn son, man. Him and Gabrielle Union. The Lord gonna fucking kill everybody in that goddamn house, man. Whoever don't repent and turn away from that wickedness. You know? You got they had a picture. Of, 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 I'm not sure if it was one of his sons. One of his sons looked like he didn't want to even be in the fucking picture, man. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, he might, he might fucking hack Dwayne Wade fucking head off if he could, you know? Because, hey, man, it ain't gonna be no goddamn sodomites in the kingdom of heaven, man. That shit is gonna burn here with Babylon the Great. You niggas ain't gonna bring, ain't none of that gonna be brought into the kingdom, man. And if we catch any of you heathens on any of that type of time, we gonna bash your goddamn skull in, man. This is 2 Peter 2 and verse 8. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. You got to hear about a nigga talking about how he going to go home to a shrimp dinner. You know, you got to listen to Eve talk about how she going to go eat a crab bull when she get home. Or how she dealing with two or three different fucking people. You know? Hey man, this shit, uh, hey, it, 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 it irritates your soul, man. You hate to see your people in the state of mind that they in. And that's why the Lord's finna start killing all you wicked ass niggas, man. You drug dealers, you scammers, you know, you murderers. Hey man, Jake don't need no more fucking drugs, man. Jake already fucked up enough. And then you got Jake, you know, you got you wicked ass niggas out there you steadily, you steadily perpetuating this shit, man. Exercising yourself in wickedness. The Lord is getting ready to take a lot of you niggas out, man. Because y'all are part of the fucking problem. Eventually, man, there is going to be a great famine. These stores are going to run out of food. You know? Hey, they already running out of livestock and cattle. Why do you think Bill Gates is even mentioning synthetic beef? See, that shit right there make you just want to stop eating fucking beef, man. You know? This place got to fucking go. This is second there, just six and 22. A lot of these farms are going to run out of crops. It's going to be a lack of everything you can think of from meat and vegetables to even water, man. This is second there is a 6 and 22. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Hey, man, that means that this shit is going to come out of nowhere. The grocery stores ain't going to be able to restock their shelves, you know? Crops, crop yields are gonna be at an all-time low. Hey man, this thing, this, 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 this shit is gonna come out of, out of, out of, out of nowhere, man. At like, like they say in the world, out of left field, <laughs> you know. And that represents, hey, the heavenly Father's left hand side, man. You know, you gotta understand that when evil comes upon a place, know ye not that the heavenly Father Yahweh, also known as a terrible demon-like power, Alashaja. That, he did that, man. Everybody want to blame Satan. Even when you catching hell, you got to understand, Satan ain't doing nothing but doing the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Hey, say a school bus crashes into a building. Do you not know that the Heavenly Father, the Most High, did that? Let me get a scripture to prove it. Matter of fact, I know it by heart. Amos uh, 3 and 6. Uh, 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 let me, matter of fact, here it is. This is Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord hath not done it? You know? Hey man, like the scriptures say, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? I bet they not bringing that out to you in, your, in, in church because they probably don't know that scripture, man. Or don't understand it. Or, or they being told not to teach it. You know? Because this society, man, they worship Satan, so they want you to give Satan all the damn credit. Satan ain't doing nothing but the will of the Heavenly Father, man. Satan is a worker. Even when he gets to put hell on you, he can't go nothing past. He can't put you through more hell than the Heavenly Father allows him to, man. Hey, Yahweh and Yahweh side rule in heaven, man. Undisputed. Uncontested. You know? Satan is a worker. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, 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 and I, I, 
I fell off a little bit, man. I had a slip up. But you know what? Fuck that, man. Right now is the time for us to be on fire and stay on fire, man. The Heavenly Father really ain't dealing with nothing else. All of that in-between shit, it's time out for that, man. Fuck these women. Fuck these niggas. Hey, I heard Elder Pastor Hart say, man, fuck the club, man. You shouldn't even be in the fucking club, man. All them niggas gonna do is, is, is dance and party and bullshit for a little while and fucking shoot at each other. And and, and this is what we call living. A living our, this is what you niggas call living your best life. Going to a club, dealing with some other niggas woman, some other niggas sloppy seconds and getting shot at. You know? Getting drunk and getting shot at. Man, that shit, I'm, I'm, you niggas can have that, man. Hey, Elder Pastor Hart said, uh, you know, and one is, and this is an older lesson, so you're not gonna be able to find. It. Matter of fact, just so brothers can check it out, GMS Archives too, I believe. Man, the elder was saying, the elder apostle was saying, how man, you shouldn't even be in the goddamn mall if you gotta go in the mall, get in the mall, and get out. Hey, just here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, these niggas was uh, about to start shooting at each other in the mall, man. You know, Jake is out here out of they rabbit ass goddamn mind, man, and that's why the Lord be allowing Esau sometimes to put you niggas in y'all place. Hey, the Heavenly Father allows Esau to get down on you Jakes, man. Two thirds of you are gonna, he's gonna allow Esau to get down on you, man, because Esau, the so-called white man, is the Heavenly Father's sword. But he not gonna be able to do too much with the elect, the hopeful elect, you know? Yeah, man. You know, you can't even be worried about, hey, hey, you get in and get out, man. Go to work, go home, get in the mall, go home, get in the grocery store, go home. This place is about to be destroyed, man. So you don't want to be caught up and all entangled in this place. That's why Micah 2 and 10 says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, for it is polluted. It shall destroy you with the sword destruction. Hey, and that, that, that sword destruction is these missiles. You know, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you niggas living in hell right now. There is no underground lair uh, 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 built on fire that you go to after you die because you sin. No, nah, man. This is the place of judgment. You living in the place of judgment. You living in hell, man. Hell is a condition. You know? Gotta, hey, we gotta, we, we, we need up out of here, man. You don't want to have parts with this place, cause this place is get, this place is numbered to have parts with them nuclear missiles that's gonna blast this place, man. This is Isaiah 10 and 5. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger and the staff in their hand is my indignation. I will send him against a hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. Will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets? Hey, man, and this can be applied to how the Heavenly Father is going to let two-thirds of our people be slaughtered by Esau, the so-called white man. He's going to let his, hey, the Heavenly Father is going to let this, his dog loose on you niggas, man. Lest ye repent. And see, that's what we out here teaching. We teaching repentance, man. Because I have to repent. You got to repent, you know? Repent in the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, man, and try your best to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, love your brethren, man. Hey, that's the that's the, the whole duty of man. Keep trying to keep the law, you know. Love thy neighbor as thyself. You know, and I'm roughly paraphrasing that scripture. But hey, man, Yahweh Shai's yoke is, is, is made of simplicity, man. And his, his burden is light. It's a light thing to come out here and teach. You know, you get to the point where you enjoy it, man. You know what I'm saying? You should. Matter of fact, I got a scripture for that. No, you're supposed to love this ministry, man, uh, uh, more than anything, man. You're supposed to love to come out here and teach. You're supposed to love to put the lessons up, man. Because if you don't love doing this, then what do you love? What do you love? Being in the world? And if you love the world, the love of the Heavenly Father is not in you, man. And that ain't that ain't a good thing.
you know, people ask and, and wonder why we come so hard when we teach because Jake don't get nothing else. Nothing else gets Jake, Jake's attention. You got to rebuke these niggas, man. You know, that's the only thing they understand. This is 1 Corinthians 14 and 39. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy and forbid not to speak with tongues. You know? So you're supposed to covet to prophesy, man. You're supposed to love this ministry. You're supposed to love doing this work. Got these fucking uh these other Israelite camps, man. They think if, if if you out there just teaching, you a bum. You supposed to own a building and be setting up schools. Hey, the Lord said go to the highways and byways and teach and be it to the marriage. The Lord ain't tell you to set up no goddamn school in Babylon, man. He didn't tell you to uh 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 uh, uh, uh bring your women into the camps and have them teaching, that shit is off. If you any of you camps out there, man, you got women teaching the scriptures, hey, y'all going the fuck off, man. You know, clearly, y'all are in, in, in direct violation uh, 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 of the holy scriptures, man. You know? Like Zabak, he had that city, what he got, like a city set up or some shit? Hey, man, we not here for that, man. Scriptures talk about laying up treasures in heaven where moth nor dust doth corrupt. Hey, they had a picture of Nipsey Hussle, uh, the Marathon clothing store, boarded up with fucking barbed wire fence around it. You know? Hey, man, that's because he laid up treasures. He's supposed to have been laying up treasures in heaven. He laid up treasures on earth. And now his tra he's dead, he's in the spirit world, and his treasure that he laid up on earth is corrupted. People done broke in there a few times probably, you know? Hey man, you don't wanna build up treasures here, you don't wanna be living here, you know? You want your life to appear when uh, with your Yahawashah's life, man. You don't wanna mind earthly things, man, pretty much. This is Philippians 3 and 19. Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is their shame. Who mind earthly things. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence we also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Our conversation, meaning, when you go into that word conversation, is politiuma, which means citizenship, you know? We are not of this world, man. So we not gonna have parts here. You know? Just like Yahweh Shah told uh, 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 Pilate. Or, or like Yahweh Shah told, um, I'm not sure if it was the scribes or the Pharisees, but I'm gonna look that scripture up. You know? Hey. You niggas are from beneath, man. We are from above, man. You know? <clears throat> this is St. John 8 and 23. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. You know? And that's that spirit that we in. We not of this world, man. We just, we, we, we stuck here right now. You know, we got to play our part. But you know, hey, I can, I'm going to end off with that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if the spirit did, if the spirit wills it, you know, maybe I'll come out here again and do another street teaching. You know, I don't, I really don't mind it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, hey, hopefully this was edifying. You know, all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wahara Kakwadash. Again, double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, man. Until the next one, I say Shalom.